Hi, Gary. How Hi. are you doing? Yeah, good, thank you. Good. Um, can you start by giving a bit of an injury update from uh, Saturday, Marcus Tavernier? Yeah, so Tav won't be available again this weekend. Um, what have we got? We've got two more games for the international break. Hopefully, he'll, he'll play a part in, in those, um, but, but not confirmed, obviously, the... Um, yeah, slight hamstring issue that we're hoping isn't well, that isn't too serious, but we're hoping we can get him back as as quickly as possible. And what about some of your your longer term guys, Lloyd Kelly? Lloyd is closer um, on the grass today. Lewis Cook's back involved, which is good. Lou will join the squad. Um, big positive for everybody. Um, Ilya Zabani's back out running, doing some good work, but but won't be involved this weekend. Um, yeah, and the rest is is fairly similar. You talked about David Brooks the other day. Um, is he close now? Yeah, yeah, he is. He is close. Um, it's, yeah, we've got a little bit to do. Maybe try and get him some, some time on the on the pitch in bigger areas and stuff. He's trained well this week in in and around the lads. Um, but yeah, there's, a, there's a, a few few little bits that we need to just tick off final sort of final hurdles to make sure we get over before he's, um, he's back involved. But hopefully very, very soon. Um, before the Manchester City game, I think you picked up uh, five points in, in four games. How do you look back on that now? Is it a, a bit of a momentum stopper for you or can you pick things up? Um, no, I think the Man City game was, was a really good effort, I thought. Um, obviously, we made some mistakes in it, which you can't do against top opposition. Um, but from a performance and carrying out a game plan point of view and being aggressive against one of the best teams in the world, I thought it was... Yeah, I thought we we gave ourselves a chance in in the game, um, and then yeah, the results before obviously four from Newcastle and Wolves is is a good return to to especially Wolves away Newcastle at home tough games. So um, yeah, four points, but we start again this Saturday with a with a tough game at Arsenal, and we we hope to take something from that as well. And how do you view Arsenal? Is it a tougher challenge than Manchester City? Is it as tough? I mean, you you, you know you've you've you're playing the the top two back to back. It's a huge challenge for you. It is, yes, the toughest place to go, no doubt. At the moment, they're um, yeah, they're they're a fantastic side, top of the league. Um, going to their place as well, so yes, it, it's the toughest test you can face at this moment. Um, but we go there with ways that we feel we can cause them a problem. Um, obviously, they're yeah, the intensity they show and. The, how aggressive they are without the ball and how good they are with the ball. They're a very, very good side and having having watched them a lot this week, um, no surprise that they are where they are and that they're clear at the top. So they'll be difficult to catch, I'm sure. Um, but from our point of view, we, we go there, we, we try to be well organised, we we stick to our plan and we, we use ways that we feel we can hurt them. You say it's no surprise. Did you, did you honestly expect them to do as well as they have done this season? No, I think at the start of the season, no, nobody really knew. I think... Um, performance they put on here earlier in the season um, extremely dominant and looked like a side that could could be up and around the top of the league um, and uh, yeah I've only really watched them up until this week when it's my job to prep for them I've only really watched them on TV and um, so when when you prepare for Manchester City you sort of know that they're going to be a top side because they've been at the top for years um, and only this week have I yeah, looked into it and found that Arsenal are very, very good, very well organised, detail with their, their work, how good they are with the ball, their movements, um, the connection with the fans, the atmosphere at the Emirates at the moment, the intensity. So, yeah, it, it'll be a good test. Boys are boys are looking forward to it um, and not one that we go just to look to take part in. So really important for us, obviously, at this stage of the season, any stage of the season that we go there and we're really clear on what we're trying to retrieve. We, we need to leave there with points. And as a fellow young manager, what have you made of the job that Mikel Arteta is doing? A lot of expectations on him now, a lot of pressure. He doesn't seem to be cracking. Are you admiring of, of the way he's handling it? Yeah, I haven't seen too closely. Um, I've seen his team this week a lot. Um, so, yeah, I'm very impressed with what he's done to his team. Um, I don't know too much about his pressures or how he's handling them, but the, the team are performing very, very well. Um, He's done a fantastic job, very impressive. Obviously, big job to get so early on. Um, they maybe, I don't think they started too well, if I remember rightly, when he first went in. There was maybe a few questions being asked. So, um, 
to have turned it around and to have the team in the place that he has them at the moment. Um, very, very impressive. So, um, yeah, he's, he's, he's done an excellent job. He said today in an interview he doesn't change his clothes when he's on a winning run. Have you got any superstitions like that? Uh, no, I haven't. I'm not superstitious at all. So, um, yeah, maybe just don't go too close to Mikel if he hasn't changed his clothes for a while. <laughs> but, yeah, um, no, yeah, looking forward to it. I mean, um, funny enough, I was, in, I was in the same place on holiday as Mikel in the, in the winter break when I was having a break. So, yeah, we ended up in the same hotel, funnily enough. But, um, yeah, we, did, we didn't chat too much, just bump into each other a couple of times. So, um, yeah, look, looking forward to tomorrow. Um, big, big game for us, but they, they all will be from this moment on. So, yeah, looking forward to it. Did you ever play against Mikel? Yeah, I think I did. I'm not sure how many times, but, yeah, he was a good player, strong, um, technically very good. So, um, yeah, had a, had a good playing career as well. So, was intelligent on the pitch as well. You can generally tell the, the in the way that they play that that they're going to go on to be managers and things you can say they have a real tactical awareness of what's going on around them so not always the case but with Mikel that, that was definitely the case and what have you made of the the way some of their younger players really seem to have stepped up this season and Ketia Martinelli uh, have you been impressed by what they do yeah fan, yeah re very good players of course Martinelli yeah has been excellent as he's played majority of matches if not all their matches um yeah, is a, is a threat with his pace. Um, obviously, Inketi has come in since they lost um, Jesus, um, and yeah, it's done very, very well. Um, they use Trossard as well a little bit at the moment as a nine. So, yeah, they, they, they still have options. Of course, very, very strong squad. Um, back four have been impressive as well. Not too many changes in the back four very often. Um, manages to name a real settled side, and um, yeah, they have good defensive record. Managers sometimes talk about free hits, which is an odd phrase when every point matters. Is this a free hit? Definitely not. No, no. The Man City game wasn't. This one isn't. Um, yeah, I don't don't see any game as a free hit. So, three points available. We'll do our best to get them. And what will it take for you to win there? Yeah, big effort from everybody, of course. Um, so against Manchester City, we made a couple of errors that you can't afford to make. So. Um, we need to be better at that, make sure that we don't give anything silly away, um, make sure we don't make mistakes that, that cost ourselves and then stick to the game plan, be real diligent in what we do and try and hurt them when we get our opportunities, be clinical. Um, so yeah, the usual stuff that you need. But of course, the, the level of opponent means that our level needs to be as, as high as it can be. And just lastly from me, how do you view the situation at the bottom more broadly, Gary? You, you look at the... The fixtures, you look at who's down there, I think there's only nine points separating nine clubs. Um, do you see all those involved in, in a possible relegation battle? Honestly, I don't know the exact detail of the league table. Um, I don't, yeah, I couldn't tell you who was above us or just above us or, so yeah, fully focused on the, on the game on Saturday, trying to get three points. Um, I'm sure as we come, nearer the end of the season and hopefully we're a bit further up the table by then but I'll probably look at it slightly more as it becomes more relevant but um, yeah at this moment in time full focus on us and, and what we need to do Thanks Gary Gary the, the underdog mentality is that something you look to seize on I talk of you as underdogs in terms of the league table obviously and, and the, the form maybe of each team is that something you look to I guess put into your players to say no one's expecting us to go and get anything Arsenal tomorrow um no, yeah, I don't use it too much. I think you could feel it a little bit in the atmosphere in the Manchester City game. I thought there was a real backing from the fans because they could see that the, the boys were having a real go against a good side, so you could feel it. Um, but yeah, no, not not, not from me, really. I, I'm very clear with them. that I, I expect us to be competitive in every game, so um, are Arsenal a good side? Yeah, they are. Can they cause you problems? Yeah, they definitely can, but we're in the same league as them, so... Um, we go there tomorrow and we, we give it our best go and I, I expect us to, to cause them some problems and I expect us to be able to deal with situations that they throw our way and um, as I always say, we'll yeah see see how we go, accept the consequences after, dust ourselves down and get ready for the next one. From what you saw against City last week, uh, what do you see in your squad now that puts you in much better stead to get things from these games, maybe compared to what you had available when you played United over Christmas, Tottenham earlier in the season, Liverpool obviously before you took charge. The squad seems to be in a much better place to be really competitive in these games. Yeah, injuries are still a big problem for us, unfortunately. Something that we haven't really been able to shake last 
yeah, last few months or a few weeks, however long it's been. Um, still have key players missing, which is, yeah, that does damage, of course, to, to what you can produce week in, week out. So um, be massive to, to get as many of them back as we can and make sure we keep the ones that we've got fit, fit. Um, but yeah, the, the, the squad is deeper and, and has more quality in it, no doubt, than it did before January. So um, let's, let's say if we'd have had seven injuries at times in December or whenever it was, we would have been really, really short. Now, if we do get that many, at least we have we have enough to make sure we can still try and be competitive. But um, still equally as important that people like Tav, Lloyd Kelly, um, Matthias Vigna, Ilya, um, yeah, Lewis Cook coming back, people like that. It's just even Brooksy, like having these people back in and around it just makes such a huge difference to, to what you're able to the level you're able to perform at so yeah can't underestimate how important it is that we we get the boys back fit and keep them there and is there a particular i guess um target to to guard against early goals you, unfortunately one went in early last week in some of the bigger games this season you've conceded quite early you two them down to Aston after six minutes earlier in the season i know you weren't in charge um is that something in these kind of games again that you're really pushing the emphasis on yeah I've, yeah always Always, you don't want to concede early goals. You don't want to concede late goals, and you don't really want to concede goals in the middle. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, but early ones obviously may have an have an impact on how the place feels. Um, I thought if we look at the Manchester City game, the goals sort of govern or change how everyone sees the game. So, if you go, if you look in depth. Look at the two Manchester City games we played this season. We didn't lay a glove on them up there. Numbers were. Didn't have hardly any shots. Um, the home game, we had 13 shots against them, the most they've conceded this season, bar none. Um, we had 11 inside their penalty area, the most they've conceded this season. Uh, we had the second most regains in their attacking third. Only Newcastle regained the ball of them more than we did. Um, so there was there was a lot in there that was very, very good and aggressive and front foot. Um, but the fact that you've given an early goal away and then they managed to find a bit of quality to find a second one, the cross from Gundogan on his weak foot on the half volley, it's like top quality stuff that can go against you, um, makes it feel like it wasn't quite as good as as it as the numbers would suggest. So cut out the silly errors, um, make sure performances stay like that, and we'll we'll give ourselves a chance. Last one from me: the Premier League audience in Africa are obviously getting very excited about the increasing impact of Dango Watara, but also having Triore as well, who in a slightly different position last week had a big impact or as big an impact as you can in that kind of game. Um, where have you been most impressed with Hamid Troy and what has he still got to work on particularly in this league? Yeah, he's, he's, he's been very, very good for us. He's um, obviously adapting. Um, the, I think the, the speed and the, the, the physicality of the Premier League will be different for him. He's just, um, we, we went aggressively sort of almost toe to toe with Manchester City for, for 90 minutes. Um, so i he wouldn't have played in too many games that were had the intensity that that did. I don't think um, he has shown a lot of quality. Um, position wise, yeah, in possession we generally find ourselves in a similar shape. Always, he, we try and get, we try and have two number tens, and he ends up being one of them generally with the ball. Um, that didn't change. Um, yeah, he, he has quality. He can he can create things. He secures the ball in messy situations for us. So he's um, yeah, he's been been a big positive over the last few weeks.